Hello friends, this is Val Wolf from Durban, South Africa and you know, it's such a beautiful day today that I thought I'd sit outside, praise the Lord. Um, I just want to speak to you um, concerning deliverance and um, many people are looking for a quick fix to deliverance without searching, you know, the matters of what's happening in their hearts. And for some it's instant as we know and for others it is a journey. It is, as I've said before, like an onion where the layers are, are taken off after a while. Hallelujah. And friends, it's a journey of sanctification in the Lord. Praise the Lord. Some people are looking for their deliverance. Um, they'll be quick to have a look at a deliverance minister. Bam, sign up for the prayer line and um, just go along without reading the word, getting to know the Lord, friends. Many people today are looking for the deliverance and not the deliverer. And friends, Jesus is wanting a relationship with us. And um, it is a process. And I've seen that for so many people. We've seen some that are delivered and healed um, very quickly. And just bam, in the service, praise the Lord, they were ready to receive. And then some, it has taken a little while. And this is what I really want to speak to you about today. Um, because some people have no intentions to want to change. I've ministered to a lot of people on Zoom lately where all I hear is negativity. It's just as much as I can speak the word, uh, preach the word, um, act upon the word um, many are, are not willing to change the word that they are speaking out of their mouth perhaps because it's been like um, for such a long time they've had this this problem or they feel that it just happens all the time to them that there is just no possible way that things can change and then some are not willing to forgive as well someone to gossip and there are many that are speaking swear words out there and then they're coming to the deliverance line and they are getting delivered because the Lord always honors his word so people get delivered but they don't realize the dangers uh, of receiving deliverance because of the intentions of what is happening in their hearts um they you know and then they'll say to people well you know i went there and i was delivered but it came back and of course friends um we need to understand that deliverance is not a magic button in any possible way and um you know it's think about it you know um, the word even says if you do not forgive your neighbor neither Will your Father in heaven forgive you? The Lord is looking to obedience. And some people are saying, you know, um, it's, it's all done. It's all finished. Um, you know, we're living under grace. I just have to come believing. But what about the heart? What about the words that some are speaking out there? Do we expect to keep that deliverance when our hearts are so full of anger and frustration? Um chances are you know these devils they know the word of God uh, the word even says that they know the word and they tremble they know and for most part the body of Christ is ignorant ignorant to the devices of the devils and Ephesians six twelve says that we fight against these powers and these principalities and we need to understand that they are roaming around looking for whom they may devour and some are very very easy targets and i've done a lot of uh, prayer uh, and ministers lately and uh, they don't realize some don't realize that um, adulterous and and fornication and even just looking at um, a lady with uh, lustful ways is already committing adultery and the Lord takes his word very seriously I'm just speaking from my heart here friends um, you know the word even says just choose whom 
who you're going to serve. And some people feel that they are living in light, but they are full, this full of darkness in their hearts. And the Lord is wanting us to change our hearts um, so that we can see that deliverance, so that we can see that wonderful uh, freedom that Jesus said. He's, he's already done it for us upon, our, on, upon the cross. And uh, Jesus loves us. And it's not his will that any perish, but that we come to repentance. And, um, and that's why some of us are not popular out there. Because we want to preach repentance and sanctification. And others want to preach prosperity and just believe and all things are fine. And some people are basing their deliverance on a manifestation. Um, so if there's a manifestation, uh, people think, oh, well, that's it. Okay, that's it. They delivered. Not always. No. So we need to base things upon the heart. Healing comes from the heart. It doesn't come because a person has manifested. It does at times and it doesn't at times. But friends, God in everything is looking to our hearts. Now, if you remember uh, Matthew 12, I think it is verses, tw Matthew 12, I think it's verses 43 to 45. And uh, it says that when a demon goes out, it goes out into arid places and, and it looks, you know, to see if things are, are cleaned and you know what's happening in the body and basically it comes back if it's welcomed now demon will never go back to a body um if it's not welcome there you know so you may say well i went there i got delivered and it came back friends the problem is not us the problem is the heart and receiving and we need to understand this. This is very important, friends, because it can be very, very dangerous to come along and receive deliverance and not be ready for it. Because I have seen people in the worst state. You see, God honors his word. He, he doesn't go against his word. He always honors what he does. And that is why we need to seek the Lord with all of our hearts, friends. One day, it's just you and God. It's not you, God, and that deliverance pastor that you sought up on Google. No. So, we, friends, we as deliverance ministers, deliverance and healing ministers, evangelists, prophets, whatever, whatever title um, we are, um, you know, it really doesn't matter. We're just acting upon the word. We're helping people get set free. And whether they keep it or not is really up to them at the end of the day. So this is what we do. We try our best to pray for people so that they can be delivered and set free. And we've had people come on Zoom 10, 15 times. And yet the state of the person hasn't been changed Friends, we need to look inwardly in our hearts and, uh, and see what the root cause of that problem is. Why is that devil being allowed to stay? You know, why is it staying there? Um, why is it not going? And when you see everyone else around you getting delivered. So we need to question our hearts and everything, friends. You know, the word even says the heart is deceitful above all things. So we need to get our hearts um, into alignment with the Lord. So friends, we can't play with deliverance. It's good to come for deliverance. It really is. But there must be a willing to want to change uh, from the old lifestyle to the new, to be set free and to just change our life for Jesus Christ. Um, <clears throat> you know, friends, it's not the minister's fault. Um, we need to look inwardly, and it's so important, friends. Um, <clears throat> we must be willing to want to change. We must be willing to seek the Lord in a relationship. Wouldn't that be wonderful, friends, if people who came along, 
you know, they sought the Lord, they got into the Word, the Lord showed them where to go. They didn't just go to anyone because some of them are not, are not right, some of them are false. You know, you need to be careful where you go um, for transference of demons as well. Be careful who lays upon you. And some people want to seek out every, every minister out there for prayer without asking the Lord first where to go to. So we need to be very careful, friends, and be prayed up at all times. And if we seek the Lord with all of our hearts, we will find him. And um, he says, and you can ask anything in my name and I will do it. And that is wonderful to know <clears throat> that we are, are seeking the Lord with all of our hearts and uh, getting into the word. <coughs> Sorry. And, and he honors his word. He really does. And, uh, and, and he watches over his word to perform it. I love that scripture. Uh, just knowing that when we pray, we believe that we have received it and it's, and it's ours. Yes. <laughs> when you pray, believe that you have received it and it's yours. It's as simple as that, friends. God is really wanting our hearts to change. He's wanting us to come in love and repentance and forgiveness. Come surrendered as a little child. You know, this is how we enter the kingdom of heaven. As a little child. What does a child do? A child believes. A child doesn't have resentment. Well, not all of them. <laughs> doesn't have unforgiveness. A child just loves. Have you ever seen like small little toddlers? They just love. They just want to come up and love. And that's how the Lord wants us to enter his kingdom, friends. So that's just my short little message today. Just remember that deliverance is not a quick fix. There's a journey, friends. Come along for deliverance because you'll you'll get delivered. But maintenance is key. You need to keep that deliverance. There must be a willingness to really change. Hallelujah. God bless you, friends. God bless. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and visit our website on www.christhealingcenter.co.za. God bless you.